Next, the graduates who, who will receive the diploma in spatial design with merit are Asher Ong Yue Sheng. The recipient of the Ong and Ong Gold Medal Award is Asher Ong Yue Sheng. Ladies and gentlemen, among our graduates today is a distinguished award winner who has excelled in his pursuits while in NYP. The distinguished Lee Sien Long Award for Outstanding Achievement in Design and Media is presented to the most outstanding graduate from the School of Design and Media. It gives me great pleasure to invite on stage once again our Lee Sien Long Award winner from the Diploma in Spatial Design, Asher Ong Ye Sheng. Asher Ong Ye Sheng graduates from the Diploma in Spatial Design with an outstanding 3.99 GPA. Asher excelled in his studies and was awarded the NYP Midterm Scholarship. He has won multiple design awards like the Asia Young Designers Award and the Golden Lotus International Design Competition. He is the recipient of the Ong and Ong Gold Medal for being the top scorer in his diploma course. He was also vice president of the SDM club where he honed his leadership skills and led his team in organizing various school events. For his outstanding academic achievements and passion for design excellence, Asher today is conferred the Lee Sien Long Award for Outstanding Achievement in Design and Media. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Asher Ong Ye Sheng. This concludes the presentation of our awards to the award winners. Thank you, Mr. Lim. Ladies and gentlemen, Asher Ong will now address us on behalf of all graduates of the class of 2021. Asher, please. <clears throat> Let me catch my breath a bit. I had to run my better backstage. Distinguished guests, class of 2021, lecturers, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Asher Ong and I'm a proud graduate from the Diploma of Spatial Design. It is my great honour to represent the first cohort graduating from the School of Design and Media as your valedictorian. Allow me to open with an existential question. What does it mean to be a designer? Is it taking the heart-shattering critiques from our lecturers, or is it working tirelessly round the clock to meet the crazy deadlines? Or is it shaking and crying because the design is just not coming together no matter how hard you try? We all know for a fact that it is all of the above and so much more because we have been through these three grueling years. I know we now go by XPIT, which stands for Experiential Product and Interior Design, but we have this joke in spatial design that actually SD stands for sleep deprived. Many of us remember our first studio in year one. Some of us were insecure, some indifferent, some fearful, some confused, some obnoxious, like me, and some distracted by a cute girl at the other side of the room. Ah, how far we've come. Through these three years, we have evolved the ability to see beauty, taught by our lecturers to see through our eyes. It is the ability to appreciate beyond the literal and yet to empathize on the level of a human being. It is that gut feeling that you get when you find it in your research. It's that surge of passion when you uncover it in your study models. It's that fantastic curiosity about a subject that only you can understand. We have learned that empathy is to see the possibility of beauty in everything. But what if we push that one step further? Maybe a designer has got it when he or she is able to help others, be it friends, subjects, or audiences, to see beauty within themselves. It is to enlighten someone to see that they are relevant, that they are beautiful just the way they are, and that they too can be loved. This truly is the gift of being able to see through your eyes the power of empathy. That is what we call the state of the designer. My fellow graduates, we have come so far, but only because of those that have given us the opportunity to grow. At this point of time, let us turn our gaze to the ones who have been there for us, when we needed them most. This is for our families, for our friends, and for our lecturers, the community that has raised us over these three years. First, 
our family. For our papas who picked us up from school at 1 a.m., to our siblings who had brought us cooked dinners from home, to our mamas who told us it's all right to quit design, but also reminding us of our soul, passion, and purpose, and why we do it anyway. You did not stop believing in us, and we hope that we have made you proud. To our loved ones who are streaming at home right now, to the mothers, fathers, and families who have supported us with their unconditional love, let us put our hands together for the ones who have given us a home, a heritage, and a history that we can call our own. <laughs> Secondly, to our friends, to those who went through thick and thin with us, you were there for the bleeding fingertips, the three-hour naps, swing sessions, the midnight tea, peer consultations, and the big brain banter. Let it go down in history that we can slap together a model, a peabot, and a walkthrough, and a presentation within two hell weeks, obviously, given enough liquid caffeine. Over these three years, we have met some of our strongest rivals, most respected peers, and best of friends. We have grown much from your peculiar example, honest feedback, and timely encouragement. May we be proud of our efforts, our growth, and our amazing good journeys. Here's a crazy one, but do you guys realize that we are the first and pioneer batch of graduates from the School of Design and Media? We are the firstborns of a new design family, and we go down in the books as that. To those who have given us a home away from home, let us put our hands together for our dear friends and each other. Oh, how far we have come only together. Finally, to our lecturers, thank you for giving us the opportunities to learn, to lead, and most importantly, to fail. For by allowing us to fail, you allowed a greater instructor to take over life. You had a strong belief in us that we would triumph in the end. With the advent of COVID-19 and the circuit breaker, the institution faced a crisis like none before, from suspended internships to the conversion of physical lessons to online, to the stressful technical breakdowns, our lecturers and mentor guide and continue to lead us through these unprecedented times. Dear lecturers, not only did you ensure that the course continued to run smoothly, but you kept your calm and continued to inspire us to do some of our most meaningful work ever. We have done our best for you, as you have done for us. You have heard of this course of times, and you will continue to hear it year after year. But indulge us with this one more time. Thank you for changing our lives in both ways, great and small. Class of 2021, please let us put our hands together in greatest appreciation for the ones who have chosen to share their lives with us. Dear lecturer, your steadfastness and sacrifice are indeed our inspiration. As we bring this chapter to a close, perhaps it will be a good exercise for us to reflect on the lessons that has brought us here. For my parting words, I would love to share with you one of the biggest lessons that I've learned through my final year project. Some of you may already know this story, but with only three weeks left, facing one of the most crippling design blocks to date, I had only produced my concept sketches and model mock-ups. I had done everything in my power to break out of the block and had failed. At my absolute lowest, I was clicking aimlessly in AutoCAD and I broke down to my mother on her lap with tears spreading across her skirt. She told a story of me as a young boy, playful and free. I heaved another bout of tears because at that point of time, at that moment, I wasn't that boy. I wasn't free. Comforting me, she whispered, Asher, you don't have to finish with flying colors. Maybe this time, you just need to cross the finish line. Just try. Wiping tears away, we prayed and got up. Day after day, I repeated this mantra, just try, because that is all you need to do. As I put the concept together, drawing ideas into form, just try, because that is all you should do. From building the model with my siblings to the last second of the submission, just try, because that is all you can do. I, as I laid down the final piece into my showcase, my lecturer was roaming around the studio. Inviting him to view my work, I played for him the narrative walkthrough that I had wrote. It was inspired by the story that my mother had told me. And the recording ended with, that little boy is me, Asher the son of my dear mother who let me go and play, the firstborn who grew up never afraid to try, to fall, and to stand up again. I broke down for the nth time. That was it. It was over. I was free. 
Though it wasn't the most spectacular in terms of design, this final project was by far the most soulful work that I had ever done in my life. I had tried my best, and to my amazement, the project won uh, distinction. A three-week production went from nothing to being the most memorable experience of my life, burning this lesson deep into my identity. Just try. From the past have we grown, and unto confidence shall we mature. May the trials that we have overcome make sweeter this place where we now stand. The end of one chapter. Here, we have learned to see beauty within our work, our community, and ourselves. Here, let us acknowledge with thanks our family, friends, and lecturers, for with them still we rise. And finally, here, we resolve to keep on trying, for this truly is all we can do. Till we meet again, may we all continue to fall deeper in love with our future, our freedom, and the better persons we could be. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, and goodbye.